Okay, folks, we're going live on that one. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Look at that proportionality. So we have a question here. It says, okay, I think it'll be good if I grab a brush. Okay, can you please copy this down, please. It's, right, we say y is it says directly proportional. Proportional to the square of x. Okay, now let's write that down. So we say y. Now directly proportional, we use which symbol? This one. To the square of x. Now what does it mean by the square of x? It means x. X squared. So the sentence that we have over here in brown has been replaced by mathematical symbols in gray. Are we happy with that? So they're giving us an English, uh, they're giving a statement in a, in a, as a sentence. We convert it into mathematical symbols. That's what it means. Now, what did we say before what the proportionality sign stands for? So we can replace that with y is equal to. So the proportional symbol is represented, is replaced proportionality symbol by equals k. k is called the constant of proportionality. So we do this question in exactly the same way we've done the previous questions. But just here we have an x squared rather than an x. So let's look at the rest of the question. So, question, right. That one is a volume question, that's proportional to no. now. Y is directly proportional to the square of x. Okay, found it. Given that y equals 20, so they've told us that when y is equal to 20, they said x is equal to 2. So, the, oops, it's supposed to be 2, pardon me, let me just get rid of that. x is equal to 2. So, this is the information they gave us in the question. So we have established what the what we what did we call this before in the previous question? We call this the what? This is the general rule, yeah. Now to make the general rule specific, we need to work out the value of what? K. What do we need? The value of k. So let's use the information they gave us to work out the k value. So what is the y value in this particular instance? Y value is equal to 20. And what is the x value equal to? 2. So y is 20, k is k, and x squared is 2 squared. Are we happy with that? <coughs> We've got to establish the k value. So opposite of multiplying by 2 squared is what? What's opposite of multiplying by 2 squared? Is dividing by 2 squared. We got 20 divided by 2 squared is equal to 4. The answer is 5. Okay, good. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Lovely. So we have now established the value of k. Once we establish the value of k, the general rule becomes then specific by, because we know the k value. So we can replace it now. We can say, we can say y is equal to the k is being replaced by a 5 and the x squared stays as x squared. So what did we say last time? We put like a, a box around that. A box around the y is equal to 5x squared. Okay, let's put that over here. Okay. Okay, so y is equal to 5x squared. That is our general rule. Okay, right. So this is our general rule over here, and this one here is our specific rule. The specific rule means that it is what we're going to be using to work out all of our answers. Now, let's have a look. Okay, because calculate the value of k, then calculate the value of y when x is equal to 4. So now we've been told that x has a value of? 4. So y is equal to y is equal to 5 times by 4 squared. y is equal to 5 times by 16. y is equal to 5 times by 16, which gives us an answer of the top. What is it? 
80. You get 5 times by 10 is 50, plus another 30, that'll give you 80. And that is the end of that particular question. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to give you a, another variation of the question. So that's question part two. And this K part over here, that was the question part one. Now, another alternative question they could ask us in the examination is, so you worked out the K value, you've got the specific rule, they could say to you something like this. Y is equal to, okay, so let's have a quick look. So, uh, say y is equal to 500 and they can say to you what is the value x so they can give you like in like a reverse question so what would we do we write out the original formula again so we write down y is equal to 5x squared now where would the 500 go Mr. Hamza does that goes here or goes there? Yeah. Okay, that goes in there. So we have here 500 is equal to 5 times by x squared. Lovely. That comes down, that comes down. Now, what are we trying to work out here? We're trying to work out the value of x. So x has been first of all squared and time by 5. So we always move the time by 5 first because that's the last action. So we've got 500 divided by 5, which is equal to 100. Now we need to work out the x, we've got x squared, opposite squaring is square root. So the square root of 100 is 10. Well, 10 is the positive square root, normally it would be plus or minus 10. But in this particular instance, we just normally consider the positive root. So the x value is 10. So that's like, as that will be then making the question a bit more difficult by asking you in reverse. Okay? Are we happy with that proportionality question to do with squared? Now what would happen if we said it was proportional to the cube of x? <coughs> so you would have y is proportional to x cubed instead. So the question will be done exactly the same way, but it will be cubed instead. So I'm going to stop this particular question here and give you a question to do.